Time now for our ally player of the game. How about Megan Gustafson, CP? Gustafson has had herself a day, 24 points, nine of 16 from the floor. She's knocked down two threes. She's gotten to the free throw line. And along with that, she's brought that energy on the glass. Six rebounds on the night. How about six rebounds and five of them offensive rebounds? Wow. The hustle. Look, she got her she <laughs> she got her game face on right, today. She, she brought it. She's our ally player of the game. And the Aces tying their season high. They've made 15 threes. They did it earlier September 8th at New York. 15 of them. So tied that up. Uzun and the air ball will send it the other way with 98 points. The Aces have only hit 100 mark two times. They did it against Dallas on July 7th and then they did it once at Phoenix in June. The shot selection, the execution, just for a group of players that don't get that much time together in yep. game situation, they have handled this very well. Yeah, this is a group that is the scout team so often, right? They're the other team that they're kind of trying to throw off the starting group. And so uh, they've got a good chemistry going. It's just a sign for every player, whether it be elementary school, high school, junior high, college, you may not get the minutes that you want, but you've got to stay ready yep. so you don't have to get ready. That's right. When yep. your number's called. Yep, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. That could be a bumper sticker right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to write that down. A save, but it's into the hands of Kate Martin and Bell. Oh. And Martin a little too strong on the pass. Trying to push tempo. 12th turnover for the Aces. <laughs> Colson comes to Mark and says, that's a good idea. <laughs> Just got to connect. Minute left in this one. It'll be the final minute for the Dallas Wings this season. No post season for them, but for the Aces, it starts Sunday. A whole new season will begin. Colson drives it in, kicks it out. Kate Martin cannot finish. Oh, Kate <laughs> Martin is the only starter not in double digits. She's got seven. Yeah, she was frustrated off that miss. Uzun, it gets a swat. Uh-uh. Megan did the Matumbo. She put the finger in the air. She said, no, no, no. <laughs> the bench is, is appreciating that. <laughs> Asia Wilson even replicating that. No, no, no. And the defense on the inbound. They get the takeaway. Another steal for the Aces. Eight of them on the game. And this clock winding down. Chance to hit the century mark with a make. Uh, I think the Aces are just going to take a violation right here. They're not going to put yeah. up another shot. Yep. This game is done. Yep. I think you're right. Yep. Sid Colson let the official know. Jeff Wooten, that's what we're going to do. And that's a... Nice effort for Becky Hammond, Patricia Trammell. <laughs> and a lot of respect for both of those coaches for one another. As Dallas will bring it across, we certainly wish them nothing but healthy recovery for all of their players that have been out this entire season. And uh, Patricia Trammell says, it's got to get better, right? <laughs> yeah, and I think it will. Next season, everybody back, everybody healthy. Dallas will be a team to reckon with. But Krista, impressed with the reserves yeah. and how they played this whole game for 40 minutes. They the put entire way. 98 yep. points on the board. And it Gosh. was from the very start, from the very first tip, and they didn't let down whatsoever. And it allowed some of those others, the Olympians, to kind of get a breather, get a little rest time before the playoffs, kick it up another notch. And a career high for Megan Gustafson. And some streamers all around, the fans liking what they're seeing. They're getting themselves in playoff mode as well. And now the playoffs can begin on Sunday. Those first round games, Krista. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Best of three. I mean, every single time it's gonna be 
crucial that and you're ready to go from the get-go. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that they got rid of the one and done. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like the best of three. They could take that one, the best of five. Yes. And then the finals, I, best of seven. Listen, I, I want this WNBA I'd, to I'd keep, okay keep going. I'd be okay with that as yeah. well. Oh, my goodness. Tiffany Hayes, Kelsey Plum, Mark Davis liking the effort that he saw out there tonight. <laughs> And making sure that the team is ready. Taking a look at some of the other scores tonight. Connecticut took care of business against Chicago. Atlanta, they, with their win, move into the playoff spot, that number eight spot. A close one between the Mystics and the Fever. But unfortunately for the Mystics, because of that win by the Dream, they get knocked out of play. And then L.A. takes care of business tonight. The Storm took care of Phoenix as well. And the Aces took care of business against Dallas tonight, thanks in big part to Megan Gustafson. Um, new career high, Megan Gustafson, by the way. Congratulations to you. Your team, this group, looks so locked in and focused. Uh, just ready for the moment, ready for the opportunity in those minutes? Absolutely. You know, I'm so proud of, um, you know, everybody out coming off of the bench all season long. We've been putting in the work behind the scenes, and it's not always seen. Um, but today it was on full display, and um, no matter who it is, um, you know, anywhere from Queen, who just got here, yep. had some great minutes. Um, you know, Tiff leading, leading the way, and Sid having amazing dimes all night. It was just really fun to be around, and um, you know, credit to my teammates that had some really nice passes to me. Yep. How were you all? So, how were you so prepared, though? Because this group on the floor doesn't get a lot of game experience on the floor together, but you all were like a well-oiled machine today. Yeah, you know, I think the style of play, too, with the bench, um, we can run, and I think we, we're the most comfortable when we're doing that and really setting the tone, um, you know, defensively. And so, you know, letting our defense dictate our offense, too, we got a lot of deflections. You know, they gave us they gave us a lot of troubles inside. They were very big and very strong, and, you know, we had our work cut out, but, um, you know, we had some really good help from the guards just getting deflections and getting out and running, and that's, that's when we're at our best. You know, you were supposed to be letting the the other four starters get a little rest. They were doing a, like a, a squat workout, like every five seconds up and down cheering. But how fun is it to see them knowing how much they appreciate the hard work that you guys put in and getting the opportunity? It's incredible. You know, I love my teammates. Um, they're always encouraging everybody, no matter who it is, no matter what they're doing. Um, you know, even if we make mistakes on the court, too, they're always encouraging us and trying to help us out whenever they can. Um, so it's just great to see that leadership uh, that, you know, everybody had today, um, you know, one through 12. Okay, Megan, I got to ask you about the block that happened oh. down here and brought <laughs> out the Matumbo, the finger. Uh-uh-uh. Oh. I hope it keeps going. Look, there's the finger. <laughs> not in your house, right? I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I heard you talking with Mark Davis, the owner, before. We're ready, ready. It feels like the team's moving into playoff mode. Are you feeling that way as well? Absolutely. You know, I think we really wanted to go into this game to be able to, to feel really good about going into playoffs and to, to really set a, stone, set a tone and to, to know that, you know, 1 through 12, we can play. And yeah. we have superstars, obviously, but um, everybody's ready to go, and we have the best, the best bench in the WNBA. I think you proved that here tonight, and you gave a good one to these fans in this final regular season game. Congratulations, new career high. Uh, this season, there's a whole new season waiting for you. It starts on Sunday. It's going to be pretty exciting. Uh, getting ready to play Seattle, how does that feel? You just saw that same team. Yeah, it helps that we just played them, so we know to, um, what kind of adjustments we need to make. But they're a really great team. They had people injured and out during that time, um, so they're all going to be full force, and so are we. Um, the Blue Man group The Blue here. Man I don't know group's if you noticed, right behind us. They, uh, we got some people. Uh, <laughs> video bombing us here right now and they've got blue heads well congratulations and uh, that game will be on ESPN we will see you on Sunday good luck the rest of the way thank you all oh, right good job Meg new career high and all the energy and effort you could ask for from Megan Gustafson and the Aces they get the win to finish off the regular season here on the home court 98 84 over the Dallas Wings we've got more for you in our post game show a special post game when we return thanks Megan